yellow flag. Safety car, safety car. Oh, Darren Turner's uh, wish comes through, and it's a... Oh, my goodness, me! This, it's a Porsche. It's, it is a Porsche. And it's uh, this is coming up the hill. It's the, the end of the pit. In the background, John. It's the entrance of the pit lane on the left-hand side. It is the 20 car. That is Mark Webber's car at the entrance of the pit lane. And we've seen F1 accidents in this position. And there's not much runoff at all. We mentioned that earlier. The car sits in the middle of the track. Here comes the fire vehicle. And yeah, it's exactly the sort of thing we've seen in F1 when somebody gets the wrong side and gets pushed into the wall. Secondary impact here for Mark as he goes into the wall. That was the eighth position car. And pleased to see everybody dropping straight down and not waiting for the safety car to pick them up. That's very, very disciplined driving. Concerned faces, of course. From everyone down at Porsche. And the nodding of the head, which... Uh, they're listening to see if Mark's talking to them, talking to the pits. And that's why the concerned faces. And they kind of don't want to be looking at themselves at the moment, if truth be told. The fire truck has got there and put out the residual fire. There was a bit of an oil fire at the back, nothing too serious there. Certainly not of the magnitude we saw at Fuji. Let's have another look at the gear in the background. Oh, yeah. Impact had happened already, John. Yeah, he'd, uh, it may have been that Mark was already on the inside and just collected the uh, collected the Ferrari already. Matteo Cressoni in the number 90 car. Now, don't worry that the back of the car has broken off. It's designed to do that. It's designed to withstand and dissipate impacts and energy. So there is the cleanup going on. The Audi LMX safety car used for the first time today for that major incident. Still concerned faces. And we've already heard from the team that Cressoni is OK. Louise has been to talk to them. We'll get you some news on Mark as soon as we get it. Looking back from the safety car, 25 minutes left of the season. And this is bitter sweet for Porsche, leading the motor race. And possibly their most improved driver this year, Mark Webber, with a big accident coming through one of the fastest parts of the circuit. Probably one of the fastest corners anywhere in motor racing. And it's one of those awful moments when everything goes quiet and we're just waiting for information. Drivers are talking among themselves there, trying to work out, as we are, what's happened. This is the area of the track. There is the original hit on the left-hand side. And there was a bit of car there already. That started a very, very long way back. This is the end of the accident, and that's a big impact to the left-hand side of the car, but the car already had damage. I think that car had been in the wall on the left-hand side, Graham, before it went across to the right. There's uh, damage to the left, to the right-hand side of that car, and that wasn't necessarily the side that uh, that went into the wall on the exit of 14. No, nope. and these are desperate moments for Porsche and for the team. The medical car I can see is rolling down the pit lane, one of the RS7s, and will go to the scene. Already doing the safety car wave by, that being done straight away. And this is waiting to pick up the leader. And there is the leader, and ironically, of course, that is the number 14. And that will bring the lead right down, unfortunately. It's there are the cars between them. Battle. It's, there are cars between them, but. Uh, it's, this is going to have, well, clearly... Repercussions at the front of the field. Uh, yes, clearly everyone's thoughts on what's actually happening down... There's Cressoni's car. See, and there's Cressoni on the barrier. Yeah, in the black and orange suit. 
the Italian just uh, being taken through his paces by the medical team who've got there very very quickly now this is going to take some time to clear up here because we've got to make sure that uh, all the operating procedures for getting people out of cars are followed backboards and things like that are things of not just uh, serious nature but of a standard requirement team of Bernard still looking I think as bemused as anybody else there's two things here the concern clearly of, for their teammate as everyone up and down the pit lane will be they also they haven't had a clear steer as neither none of us have Graham about how how that happened and that will be the thoughts as well with 21 minutes left to go uh, I'll say this now I don't think this race if we carry on the safety car will restart I think it'll be more than 20 minutes to get that cleared up. If it's not, it'll be an absolutely gargantuan effort by the guys. Now, it is a timed race. However, the opportunity we're is there to throw. We're beyond the point at which it would be a full point scoring Correct. race. And if a red flag was thrown now, there, I can't say that there would be a, a restart. So flashing the lights there in a Toyota further back. And that is Anthony Davidson just letting the guy in between him and the leader know, I'm sure, that uh, when we go back green, I would be wanting to go through. Race time, 21 minutes remain. We are hearing... Well, Porsche just tweeting, just tweeting on their race and newsroom account that uh, just the basics, heavy crash for Aussie Grit. Number 20, driver is OK. That has been tweeted by Porsche newsroom. That's all that matters. Well, and I'm always very wary about Absolutely. using social media, but that has come from the, the Porsche, the official Porsche newsroom account. And uh, let's hope that is the case. Uh, Louise, I'm sure, will be lurking around uh, the area of the Porsche garage. Of course, what I think is OK and what you think is OK and what anyone else thinks Absolutely. is OK might be different. Um, Now the, the drivers are gathering together and having a chat. And are we? Uh, that's Mark is uh, waving his hands. If you just look over the bonnet of the Mitsubishi there, Mark was on the gurney, on the stretcher, with his hand up and his thumbs up. He's been taken out, he's had his neck stabilised. That's absolutely... 